Hello, I'm happy to tell you today that you are too blessed to be stressed. Don't allow whatever you're going through right now or whatever you see around you to affect what is going to happen inside of you. There is the seed of greatness inside of you. Let it germinate. Say to yourself, you must not be a disappointment. I want to tell you, you must not be a disappointment. Number one, you must not be a disappointment to yourself. You must not be a disappointment to your family. You must not be a disappointment to your generation. And you must not be a disappointment to your God who has created you to be fruitful and multiply. If you want to be fruitful, you need to be truthful to yourself. Be truthful to yourself by separating yourself from unfruitful friends. Friends that are in your life to destroy you, to pull you down. Friends that are in your life to compete with you. They are not ready to complete you. They are just in your life because of what they're getting from you. Or they are in your life to pull you down or to expose you to the word. That they are mentioning themselves to be your friends does not mean they are your friends. Some of them are good friends and some of them are bad friends. If you have them in your life, make sure everything is working together for your good. You are too blessed to be stressed. You are too stressed. You are too blessed to be stressed. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, The Lord shall arise to bless Zion, for the time to bless Zion has come. This is the set appointed time. This happens to be my major and my best Bible verse in the Bible because when you are favored, favor will terminate your years of labor. Favor will flavor your life. Favor will color your labor. And that is why you need to walk all the time in favor of the Lord. I decree to your life, favor will change everything about your life and you'll be remembered for good. God bless you. My name is Israel Adelogudibe. Shabbat the Child Celestial Children of Christ Genesis Gobra.